welcome to the first ever season launch celebration for Ford Performance. This crowd looks amazing. I mean, you really do. We, I am Jody Kidd, first of all, TV presenter, racing driver, and we are so, so excited to be here as Ford Performance gears up for the most ambitious racing season in its history. And I'm Kim Kuhn, NBC's pit reporter for both the NASCAR Cup Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And tonight, we are going to hear all about Ford Performance's 2024 motorsports program. We're going to update you on the incredible vehicles Ford Performance is racing on and off-road. Some of them, as you've seen, are here tonight. Tonight, you'll be the first to hear all the latest news dropping from the Ford Performance camp. And we'll get to know some of the drivers who will be behind the wheel. 50 of them are right here with us tonight. Hey, guys. Where are you all? Where Say are you? Hello. Give us a wave. Awesome. <laughs> well, we had to bring a little extra fun to the party tonight. So with that, let's go to Clint Boyer from NASCAR on Fox. Oh, my gosh. Over 50 race car drivers in the Ford Performance Camp. Let's just roll down through these guys real quick. I'm talking celebrities everywhere. Jim France from NASCAR is here. Mike, Fr Mike uh, Helton right there. Look at this one. Etzel Ford. Now, man's name is Ford, ladies and gentlemen. The Wood Brothers are here. Any Wood Brothers fans in the house, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got some... Tony Stewart's here, Donnie Schatz is here, Ryan Newman is here, Josh Berry, new driver. This man has the best name in racing, James Dean is in the house. Huh? How about that, you are? <laughs> Who else we got? We got a whole list of drivers, Bob Tasca. This man lives in three seconds, ladies and gentlemen, the fastest. Well, how long did it take you to get here? 3.8 seconds. My <laughs> God. 38 miles an hour. Well, of course it is. That's almost, Harry. This is the most selfish driver here. He is going, Harry Techno, ladies and gentlemen. He is, we're in his way. He is leaving tonight. What are you going to do? Hey, we're off to the Rolex. That would be in the new GT3 Ford Mustang, correct? Let me help you. Absolutely, yeah. We're looking forward to that first uh, race for Ford this year. Do you realize you could be the first in 2024 to win in a Ford Mustang? A little bit jealous? Well, that's the plan, and my time team is not so good, so a new Rolex would uh, help that out. So oh, my we'll God, it looked good on you. Thanks, bud. Yes, yes. I told Steve Phelps from NASCAR, Noah Gregson in the house tonight, huh? New Ford driver. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Haley Deegan, the Deegan family, that's debuting the Mustang in the Xfinity Series. Are you yes. so ready? I am very ready. I'm super excited. New team, a lot of new faces, and a lot to accomplish. So excited for you. Cannot wait to watch it go down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started. Let's go. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. We told you 50 drivers here tonight. Thanks again, Clint. And we've got another race car driver backstage here to help start our engines. Please welcome the president and CEO of Ford Motor Company, Jim Farley. Jim, so happy to have you here. This is so exciting. Everybody is fired up, right? Yeah. You guys are fired up. I love it. I love it. So we're kicking the season off. How does it feel to be back and racing in 2024? Well, we've never done this, so I have to say thank you so much for coming tonight. We are so excited to get the season started. Um, this is really a special night because we're going to be racing off-road, on-road, around the world. We're going to be celebrating that all night. And it's really about you. It's about the fans, about the drivers, and about the teams. I am really honored tonight, and all of us should be, to have the whole Ford family here. We have Bill Ford here, Etzel Ford, and Will Ford. And no one has done more for racing than the Ford family. In 1901, Henry Ford won a race and use the money to start Ford Motor Company. That's what we're all about. Uh, and so thank you to the Ford family. There are a lot of car companies, but what, what, is, what is gonna make Ford different? And for me, it's very simple. We don't make commodity products. We make products for people who work and work with their hands. And we make passion products like Bronco and Mustang. And that's, that's what we do at Ford. And when we've gotten away from that formula, it hasn't worked out. Um, we want Ford to be a powerhouse when it comes to passion products and work products. No more boring products. 
And that's what this night is all about. I love that word passion, but it's not just about fun and games. This is a little bit about business, right? Yeah. I think, you know, we used to go racing and write a big check for marketing, and that's not what it's about. We really think for the first time at Ford that we can make racing a business that can sustain itself. Go beyond executives that go in and out of the company. Uh, we have the Bronco, Bronco Off-Road Rodeo. We have driver school. Tens of thousands of people go through that. We have merchandise. Uh, we're selling cars now for customers. That's our model. We want to be in the race car business of selling cars. And, um, and that's going to connect to our products. You know, we have a Raptor because we raced at Baja. That is exactly the model. We would not have a GTD if we weren't going to Le Mans. That is the model for Ford. Our R&D for future vehicles will be on the racetrack, and you'll be able to buy them at Ford. And that is really what the circle is all about in our business of racing. From track to road. But do you plan on winning some races? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do this. Um, you know, but think about Mustang. There are a lot of great companies, 911, Porsche. What other, what other car in the world races on six continents on any given weekend? And that's because we have a V8 engine. We can race in Aussie supercars. We can race in Formula Drift. We can race in NHRA. We can race at Bathurst coming up in NASCAR, of course. Uh, we have grassroots. We have our own make racing series with Mustang. And now we're going to go to Le Mans with GT4, GT3, IMSA, WEC. No other car on the planet races like that every day of the week. And that's what Ford is all about. Mustang's going to celebrate his 60th anniversary coming up here. A lot of our competitors have left. They've come and gone. We never did that. We never left. We've always been there with Mustang, 60 years. And it's changed over time. Uh, we have EcoBoost. We have the Dark Horse now. And we're going to continue to invest. And if we're the only one on the planet making a V8 affordable sports car for everyone in the world, so be it. Ooh, you guys like that, right? So you've hit a lot of things, but what about off-road racing? All right, you guys so, interested in off-road racing? <laughs> yes. I think off-road is a place where Ford can be a dominant brand. Like, no other company can do what we can do. Uh, and I really mean that. We have to be and will be the off-road brand for enthusiasts. And I don't care if that's WRC uh, on rally or snow like the Maki or a race car in WRC or Raptors or Broncos or Tremors. Uh, we are now going to be racing at Dakar. We're racing at Baja. We're racing at King of the Hammers, racing in WRC. And this is a big investment for the company. You know, we have discovered this whole big, huge, exciting business with Raptor. And it's just the beginning of an off-road ambition. And uh, there's nothing better than being off-road with an oversteering, overpowered vehicle. Uh, it is such a great experience. And it's not just about adrenaline, horsepower, and trophies, though, for you, is it? No, I, I think this whole effort is about us, people. Um, look, look where we started with the drivers tonight uh, and the people. You know, all of you buy our products. We serve you. And we want to show you on the track, on the trail, that we can make products that inspire you that you don't want to live without. Um, so this is about people. Okay. I love people. You guys love people, right? <laughs> well, what about the upcoming season? How do you feel about that? Uh -huh. Uh, well, yeah, we can't wait. There's a lot of excitement. Uh, we have a dream team. Frankly, all the drivers, all the series, you know, we're set up for a very special year at Ford. Maybe one of the most special years in our history as a company. We're going back to Le Mans. We've got Bathurst coming up. We have the Daytona 500. Uh, we have IMSA 24 coming. We have all the off-road races coming. We have the WRC season. Um, it is amazing to see 50 drivers, <laughs> Donnie Schatz and and Bobby Tasca and all of our NASCAR drivers, the endurance drivers. Uh, I met a young man who's American who won the, uh, uh, the British GT championships here. 
I mean, it is really special. You're not sure who you're going to uh, bump into tonight. So it should be a great season, and that's why we're all here. How does that sound, everybody? <laughs> all right, Jim, I'm not going to ask you who your favorite driver is, because I don't know that you can pick a favorite, especially since they're here tonight. But I will ask, what's your favorite race car? Uh, the, probably, I would say, what Shelby would have said, the next one. Uh, and I should say all the Formula One, or Formula <laughs> Drift guys, like... Vaughn, I mean, no one is at it. We now have a, a drift break in our production Mustang because uh, of, of our Formula Drift people. They are really affecting our product development. But no, it's the next car. It's the next one. I don't know what's next, but it's going to be awesome, whatever it is. Fantastic. All right, let's meet some of the drivers who will lead the GT3 at Daytona in just 10 short days. Please welcome Joey Hand and Dirk Mueller. Welcome, guys. Happy to have you here. So, Dirk, you and Joey have been teammates at Le Mans and elsewhere. How does it feel to take the track again together? Well, yes. Uh, Joey and myself, we have had um, a lot of uh, races together. We won championship. We were lucky enough um, to be on the, on the top spot in Le Mans in 2016. Um, even so, it was a family effort. Um, that's, that's what Ford for Performance is, is all about. And um, yeah, we won races together, but that's the past. Um, the season is starting in 10 days, and I'm really looking forward to have my Joey back. All right. <laughs> and I'm also happy you share to have that my, sentiment? Happy to have my Dirk back. I love it. <laughs> well, let's talk about that Mustang GT3. It has got some incredible aerodynamics. How does that translate to success on the racetrack, Joey? Well, the good thing is we're going to the fastest racetrack we go to all year, Daytona. 24 hour coming up, and like you said, just 10 days. We're going there tonight to start practicing. Their bags are literally backstage. They showed up with their luggage. Yeah, we're literally leaving tonight. We're on track on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's it's really about what's happened over this year. There's a lot of people putting a lot of hard work, you know, from Ford and Ford Performance and Multimatic, M Sport, doing all the engine stuff. So there's a lot that goes on. It's crazy to think of that car right there. That's our original 001 chassis. I rolled that thing out of the parking lot at the shop in Mooresville basically one year ago. And so it went by pretty quick. We've done a lot of stuff, put a lot of miles on it, um, and now we're going racing with it. I mean, right now we got a good feeling about it. Everybody's, you know, we have a good crew. We got uh, new good stuff and brand new race cars to take down there and uh, ready to win some races. Yes, Dirk, what do you think of this car? And I think the fans want to know, how's the engine? Oh yeah, that engine is, it's good. It's not only good for us drivers because it's fast, it's strong, it's powerful. Even so, I know GT3, we have a BOP, so everything is balanced out, but we have, we have a strong engine. 5.4 liter, M Sport delivered a really, really good job there, and the best thing is the sound. I can't wait uh, for you guys to hear it. Uh, I love it. Um, I mean, we, we tested in Daytona already, um, so there's a few videos out, and I think you could um, hear it, but it sounds fantastic. Well, we cannot wait to both see you guys and hear you guys take the wheel of the Mustang GT3 at Daytona. But, Jim, the GT3 isn't the only series that will see the Mustang icon this year, right? No, we have Formula Drift. Uh, we have the Aussie Supercars that was down in Australia. We got Bathurst coming up. Uh, we have the Dark Horse uh, from a track car. We have our own same make race series for Mustang Dark Horse. We have the GT4, of course. We have the NHRA. Of course, we have the NASCAR. Here we go on and on. We are racing literally on six continents with Mustang every weekend okay, around Jim, the world. Before these guys head out, any last parting words? Uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming here, and I want to thank the drivers and the teams for really all the work on the off season. We have a couple of really special guests uh, like these gentlemen, but you know, racing and winning is just hard freaking work. And uh, a lot of people put in a lot of work over the last months and years, as, as these gentlemen have said. And on behalf of everyone at Ford, we are so thankful for all of you for your, your hard work. And we also want to thank the fans for rooting for us. We're an American company, the most American, and uh, we really want to do well for you. Awesome. Well, good luck in Daytona. Safe travels, born on the track, and bred to race.
Bread to Race, Build to Win. Across the board, now with me is my friend Ryan Blaney, who drove oh. his Mustang. Yeah, you can give it up. Thanks. To the NASCAR Cup Series champion. Thank you. Yes. So how did it feel to take home that trophy, the biggest one of them all? Well, I know. I can't say bad. I mean, it was, it was great. <laughs> it was, um, you know, what we work all year for. You know, I mean, uh, growing up in the sport, watching my dad race uh, for a long time in NASCAR, you know, that's, that's what I wanted to be. And, you know, as a kid, I just wanted to be like my dad and, and have opportunities to, to be at the NASCAR level. And I've been really lucky to be with a great group, you know, like Team Penske, like, you know, the folks at Ford. It's been over 10 years since I've been with the folks at Ford and Ford Performance, so they've been amazing to me. And uh, to bring them a championship, uh, to cap off two in a row with Joey winning last yeah. year and us this year and to sweep the weekend in the trucks, Xfinity and Cup cars, just can't ask for anything better. Yeah, it was a great weekend. And it's one thing to win a race. It's a whole other to take an entire series. And you faced a lot of different challenges and conditions, including right here in Charlotte. But what were from some of your favorite memories of last season? Um, yeah, I mean, I think my favorite was, you know, obviously on the screen, we won the Coke 600 right here in Charlotte. You know, that's a huge race. I grew up around the Charlotte area. Thanks. Some of y'all might have been there, but um, no, it's just, uh, that was a cool race to win. You know, it's one of our crown jewels and, and a really important race to me. And, um, you know, I, I feel like that was a great start of the summer, which kind of led into a, a couple struggle months in the summer. Um, but we were able to fight back really hard at the start of the playoffs and make this incredible playoff run uh, to, to make a run for the championship. And we never got down on ourselves. We just put in the work. And that's what the great thing is with the, the great folks at Ford Performance, at Ford Motor Company, at Penske. They just put in the work. And it doesn't matter how good or bad it's going. They just understand the future. And uh, we did that very well and, and strung together an amazing playoffs. So let's talk about the future. Looking into the 2024 season, how excited are you for the Dark Horse Mustang to hit the track both in the Cup and Xfinity yeah. Series? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a huge year for yeah. Ford. Um, I'm super excited. I got to, the pleasure of testing the Dark Horse Mustang at Phoenix uh, in, in beginning part of December. And, and I'm, I'm very, very excited for it. So it, don't, it doesn't only look great. I feel like, you know, we, we improve performance of it. It's hard to believe because we've swept the next gen championships uh, already, but we've even gotten better. And, uh, and that's great. And that's, I think that's what, just what shows what Ford is all about. No matter how many championships, races you win, they're always striving towards the future and how to be better. And that's a company I want to be with. Uh, and it's all across the board, right? It's not only NASCAR. Ford is pushing the envelope in every single form of motorsports. And uh, it's just really neat for me to be a part of and, and see it and actively work with everybody to try to get to that goal. I know the Dark Horse was a big unveil, and fans love the look of the NASCAR Cup Series Dark Horse. But does anybody out there want to see the Dark Horse that Ford is going to be sending to the Xfinity Series? Yeah? yeah? All right, you're seeing it here first. Here it is. Oh, you I haven't Ryan? seen it yet. Yeah? Uh, that's, that's great. You know, I think, uh, you know, we had an Xfinity program for a long time with Ford and the Mustang at Team Penske. And, uh, it's amazing to see the, the Mustang lives in two NASCAR series, you know, from the Cup side and Xfinity side. And, and that, just, uh, that just shows how much the Mustang means to not only people at Ford or us who drive it, but to the fans, I mean, to everybody. So uh, it, that's great. I, I love that we're debuting two new Mustangs in NASCAR in the same year. So. Very, very exciting. And it's going to be badass as it crosses the finish line all throughout 2024. And speaking of mean looks, check out the funny car. That's going to roar down the NHRA strip in the hands of Bob Tasca III, who's with us here tonight. Yep. Uh, Pretty sporty. That's something I would never do. Never? Let's get, Bob, you're nuts. I can't, uh, I couldn't imagine it. Um, you guys are awesome. That, that thing looks great. And, uh, you know, I went to the four wide nationals in Charlotte yeah. uh, when I, like the, one of the first years, and I will never forget sitting at the start finish line. And I was like 16 and I thought I was having a heart attack. Because the, the cars are just insane, and um, yeah, that, that looks great, so. That might get you back to the strip. I'll, I'd, I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ford is taking Mustang everywhere in 2024, from SRO to Aussie Supercars to the Mustang Challenge, a spec racing series sanctioned by IMSA, and Mustang Dark Horse is leading the way. Sinister cool looks, 500 horsepower, 5 liter V8, Ford's first new performance series in 21 years. So tell me, Ryan, do you think that you're special because Ford is allowing you to race the Mustang Dark Horse? 
Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I'm, I'm special. I'm a race car driver, obviously. So, um, but anyone else can buy one, too. I got the chance to drive one early on, a street legal one, and uh, it was amazing. I mean, one of the most amazing Mustangs I've ever driven. I've owned Mustangs for a long time, and uh, I'm looking forward for everybody to be able to see it and drive it because it's, uh, it's the future. So, um, I mean, like Mr. Farley said, you know, not a lot of folks make big V8s anymore, and, and it's, it just speaks to what we're all about here at Ford of our dedication to that. Very cool that Ford Performance is launching a single spec series. You were here in Charlotte in July when the announcement of the Mustang Challenge happened. How was that? Yeah, I thought it was great. You know, I, and I feel like, you know, whenever you launch a new series, uh, it's a huge deal, right? And, and when Mustang can be a huge part of it, um, you know, I think that's even better. So uh, I want to race the Dark Horse R, honestly. Uh, I had a GT 350R, so I'd like to to get the new, uh, the new greatest and, and newest stuff. But, uh, you know, I think it's going to be great. You know, the race at Mid-Ohio, the Glen, at Indy, and, and I think those are amazing tracks that I'm looking forward to seeing how they perform. Well, that's just one way that Ford Performance is connecting with passionate community of owners around the world, united by their love of racing. But there's one more class of Mustang that Ford Performance is about to unleash on the world. And it is ready to blow the doors off of Europe's best sports cars. So I'm going to turn it back over to Jody. She's going to show it off the peak of Mustang racing. Thank you so much, Kim. Right, can we just take one minute to have a look at that race car over there? I mean, this was built to take on some of the world's toughest high-level endurance races. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Ford Mustang GT3. Ryan Hardwick, Zach Robichon, and Ben Barker will be racing the Mustang GT3 in the World Endurance Championships with Proton competition. But Ryan clearly can't get enough of sports car racing because as we speak, his IMSA WeatherTech Mustang GT3 is unloading at Daytona for the race next week. And here are both the cars in the liveries that were revealed today. It's looking good, huh? Um, we also want to highlight our newest customer racing team, Dynamic GT. The drivers, Frederick Vervish, Christopher Mize, and Dennis Olsen, will be racing in the number 54 Mustang GT3 in the SRO GT World Challenge Europe. And let's not forget the greatest generation Mustang GT4, competing against the European elite, starting next week at Daytona. But Ford's ambitions are not limited to gas engines, so let's take a look at how they are electrifying the off-road. Did you see that jump? Yeah, Switchgear is ready to take Ford's electric power on and off the road. With me is Mark Rushbrook, Global Director of Ford Performance Motorsports, and Von Gitten Jr. from RTR Vehicles. Yep. All right, Mark, we'll start with you. What can you tell us about the Ford F-150 Lightning Switchgear? Well, this is Ford's latest electric test vehicle. It is an F-150 Lightning that is capable not just on-road, but also off-road. So it's got carbon body panels, it's got 37 inch tires, independent front suspension, multi-link rear suspension, coilover, Fox shocks. 
This is a beast. It's a test bed of EV capability off-road. Now, Vaughn, you pushed the limits of Ford's first EV demonstrator, but the F-150 Lightning Switchgear is a totally different beast. So what can you tell us about the truck, and is it ready to rock? Well, it's so much fun. Like, my face is literally sore from giving media rides today. I was just smiling so much, taking this thing through the jumps, through the mud, ripping big, long drifts through the turns, and... Uh, you know, we're, we're taking F-150 Lightning and electric vehicles where they've never been. You know, this is what I believe to be the most capable electric vehicle on the planet. And uh, we're going to test it hard. We're going to learn lessons, you know, that we can take back to production and hopefully bring you guys something that'll put a smile on your face. So uh, I'm super pumped and it's been an honor working with, you know, Ford Performance and of course our team at RTR collaborating, dreaming what's possible. And we've got, you know, just the uh, ultimate fun machine, so I'm pumped. Well, Mark, what else are you doing with EV demonstrators in 2024? Yeah, the EV demonstrator program has been expanding so fast for us over these last couple of years because it gives our engineers the opportunity to, to dream and build beyond the rule book without any limitations. So one of those last year was our Supervan 4.2, which we took to Pikes Peak, and it dominated its category, winning, winning the class and setting a new record in it. And we're gonna take that same Supervan 4.2 next month to Bathurst for the famous Mount Panorama. Can't wait to see it there. Oh. And then later this year, we're gonna go back and challenge ourselves again to summit Pikes Peak with an all new electric demonstrator. But we'll save that news for another All right, one. we'll have to wait for that news. Ford Performance is really pushing the limits in every domain, on every surface, with every kind of vehicle. In fact, as we speak, Ford Performance Ranger is racing at the Dakar Rally. So let's take a look at how it's handling one of the toughest off-road racing challenges on the planet. <laughs> wow, that was some incredible off-road action from the desert there. And here to help me break it down is Lauren Healy, two-time King of the Hammers champion. <laughs> I mean, Lauren, what did you see from Ford Performance at the Dakar? I saw absolutely incredible progress in Ford Performance off-road. The Ranger really performed well in that brutal, brutal desert terrain in the ultimate class. The plan this year is to finish and learn, and they are on course to do exactly that. It's impossible to overstate how tough that race is on the race team, the drivers, and the navigators. But Ford has partnered with the absolute best, and I can't wait to see how they do on the rest of the race. I'm so stoked about Ford's plan to take Raptor to Dakar next year. I mean, I'm so excited. As a Raptor owner and a Raptor driver, we have got a very special sneak peek at that Raptor that Ford Performance will be taking. Let's have a look. Oh, I want to see more. It looks amazing, though. Very, very exciting. And I'm sure it's going to be a complete monster. Yeah, this is pure Raptor. Take the F-150 and Ranger Raptor package to the next level. Horsepower, shocks, wheels, and clearance to tackle the harshest terrain on Earth. It really is the embodiment of the Raptor spirit. Wild, powerful, capable, and fierce. Well, I can't wait to see the Raptor at the Dakar next year. But what about this year? Have you got any off-roading racing news for 2024? There's so much going on all around the world. Ranger, Bronco, Raptor R, an incredible off-road lineup. Next up for us and his amazing group of drivers taking on the toughest race in the world, the King of the Hammers. <laughs> it is an incredible lineup and it's a great season of racing, but full performance isn't also looking forward to shaking things up in the future seasons as well. Aren't they, Kim? They are, they are. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jody. Let's welcome back Jim Farley and bring on Oracle Red Bull Racing Formula One driver, Checo Perez. You're the hero here. Checo, thank you so 
much for being here. Are you having fun? Yeah, it's always great fun. First event of the of the year, so really happy to uh, get things over the line and then start with with our new year. All right, let's talk, Jim. <laughs> Ford, how are things progressing with Formula One? Uh, well, he's probably a good person to ask, but uh, no, I had a chance to spend a lot of time with the team in Milton Keynes and, and with Adrian Newey. I, I think we're on track. 26, even though it sounds like a long way away, we have a lot of work to do on the powertrain, but I'm really happy with the progress. Uh, I wish I could tell you more, but I would say we're on track. Or What do you think? Yeah, I definitely agree. I think, uh, yeah, 26 sounds like uh, miles away, but in Formula One, it goes really fast. Yep. That's right. So Ford left Formula One racing two decades ago. Why come back? You know, we're going back to Formula One for uh, in a way that we haven't in the past. It turns out that the best aerodynamics in the world are in Formula One. The best telemetry, the best digital diagnostics are, you know, to support uh, Checo. And actually, we need all those things for electric and digital cars. So it's actually going back to the 70s with a pure tech transfer. This is not like owning our team. We're going there to literally transfer technology. We can offer battery tech for them because in 26, they're going to go to like 50% electric and they need high discharge batteries. And we do that in NHRA, for example. Um, and on the other hand, we can get telemetry, digital diagnosis, as well as aero, which we can put in our production uh, electric cars to make the battery smaller. So it's a learning. It's a little bit of R&D. It is a lot of R&D. <laughs> yes. And they are the best of the world in a lot of these technologies, and we need them desperately as the car business changed. So it's literally like going back to where we were all those years ago, tech transfer. Do you think that Formula One can bring new customers to Ford? Yeah. I mean, look what's happened in Formula One in the U.S. Uh, you know, it's blown up. Um, and we think that there's a lot of young, diverse people who will love our products that really aren't familiar with Ford. And uh, look at Checo. I mean, who doesn't want to be associated with Checo, right? <laughs> yeah. So let's who doesn't want to be associated with Ford? <laughs> so let's put Checo in the hot seat. You've already taken the checkered flag in six Grand Prix, two last year. What does it take to win at the very top? Well, it takes determination for sure. You know, you have to... Be confident on yourself and uh, and put the amount of work that it requires to to make sure you you hit it and uh, you are able to hit it consistently. And Jim, how do you feel about the team that's going into Formula One? We got the best freaking team. <laughs> it's that simple. I mean, we got the best drivers. We got the best technical support. Uh, we have the best of Ford around the globe to support them. But the team, the powertrain team that they're building in Milton Keynes is like absolutely top-notch. We are going first class to the very top of the podium. Speaking of the top, here's the guy who's leading that effort, Formula One team principal for Oracle Red Bull Racing, Christian Horner. Hi, everyone. Sorry I can't be there tonight to celebrate Ford Performance's 2024 season launch. It's been almost a year since we announced our partnership with Ford. Last 12 months have been incredibly exciting because we've been introducing the various departments within Red Bull Powertrains and, and within Ford. And the exchange of ideas and technology uh, has, been, has been fantastic on what is a brand new set of regulations for 2026. From the executive level right through to our engineers, everyone at Ford is committed to helping this team succeed. Myself and our drivers have had so much fun driving all the awesome Ford vehicles. 2026 is not far away and there's a lot of work to do between now and then. The clock is ticking. Oracle, Red Bull and Ford performance teams have been collaborating on a new power unit and we're continuing to grow our strategic partnership. Congratulations on an amazing 2023 motorsport season and the very best of luck for what will no doubt be another successful Ford performance racing season. Thank you. Yeah, wow. From Formula One to all of the incredible series they'll be racing this year, Ford Performance is bringing the thrills. So good luck to all of the Ford Performance drivers as they take the world's best with the incredible Mustangs, Rangers, Broncos, and F-150s of the Ford Performance lineup. We hope you enjoyed tonight. Keep your eyes out for more great racing news throughout the 2024 season. Thank you and good night. <laughs>